Riley was born on the 25th of March on a Thursday. We took him home, perfect healthy baby, except for my notice that he had problems with his hands. Um, I asked lots of different professionals, midwives, health visitors and stuff, and they all said that he was perfectly normal just to exercise him. When he was three weeks old, a uh, midwife came round to see me and she agreed with me that there was something wrong with him, with his breathing and his hands. So we went straight to hospital and then from that day on he was tested, he had no reflexes, he was just known as very floppy. Um, so they ran tests like genetics and stuff and then when he was four weeks old he got diagnosed with SMA type 1. Yeah, so spinal muscular atrophy, uh, we have three different types and the type 1 is the most severe uh, of, the, of, the, of the other conditions. And where the children have unfortunately severe weakness of the muscles uh, due to the degeneration of the motor nerve cells. They decided to give him spin riser treatment when he was five weeks old. The, but the next day after he had the treatment he went to intensive care because he was just like struggling to breathe. They needed to put him on a ventilator on BiPAP and I think it was about four days after he went into intensive care he stopped breathing three times in the space of two days. The third time his heart almost stopped so they had to intubate him, put him on life support for three days. They eventually extubated him, but they did say that they didn't think it was going to work, but he did it, thank God, and the treatment started working. We noticed lots of big changes in him, like his hands, like his legs and his head. He was moving a lot more and breathing a lot better. And then we've been fighting for Zolgensma for a very long time, and now, today is the day. <laughs> So the treatment itself, Zolgesma, is a replacement of the missing gene into the cells so through the adenovirus vector, it's an infusion, and it just goes into the cells and replaces and gives instructions to the nerve cell to produce such proteins, and so the cells can function and, um, and improve the muscle function, basically. I'm so happy, it's like giving him a future, like, we can now think for the future, because before, we were just taking it day by day, trying to make the most of it, you know, expecting the worst. It's just, um, I know, unbelievable. I never ever imagined that we will be in a position like this to offer such treatments. And um, so it feels, uh, as a clinician, having seen the children unfortunately die and having to be able to offer this life-saving treatment, is a best, uh, it's a best feeling. And particularly in our own eyes, it is in our own centre. It just feels uh, absolutely, you know, um, overwhelming for us. <laughs>